I'm Owen Chokeout, and this is your WKHS News for Friday, November 5th. On this week's news, we discuss what to be aware of while online shopping, we catch up with our media team and see what they've been working on, and we get a look at this month's episode of our online exclusive show, Unpack. Your WKHS News starts now. Good morning, Kilborn. I'm Amber Ginheimer. And I'm Karina Ramirez. Hey, Amber, I meant to tell you this, but I ordered my homecoming dress this year online and it just never came. That's actually been happening to a lot of people I know. Michaela and Claire give us some tips about ordering online. There are many pros and cons to in-person shopping and online shopping. WKHS students discuss which they prefer. I really like online shopping just because I don't have to like leave my house and it helps me see a lot of the things that in stores I wouldn't normally be able to see. I really enjoy it. I think it's a good like um, opportunity for me to get clothes, especially since like I can't drive. Uh, I do because uh, you, you can see a lot of different like items. Like in person, you don't have that many things. Yeah, I really like online shopping. It makes it a lot easier to buy clothes and different things that I can do it at home. Would you rather shop online or in person? Um, probably online. Um, that way I can do it like from home and just like on my own terms. I'd rather shop online because it gives me a lot more chances to look at everything and all my options and it comes in the mail so I don't have to actually go and get it myself. I would rather shop in person because you get the real experiences and you can touch the objects so that way you know what they feel like. Probably in person because you can actually like see the items and see like the quality of them. Although online shopping can be convenient, shoppers have experienced difficulties with their recent orders. Some of the stuff you get might not be the right size or it might not fit right. Definitely sizing. Like um, a lot of stores have different uh, systems for their sizing and so it's hard to find like your consistent size and clothes. One of the downfalls just is that uh, you don't exactly know what you're getting like you do when you're shopping in person. You see the product and you decide to buy it. But when you're shopping online, you see a picture and you just kind of get what you get. time when I was in elementary school and I bought like a baby doll off of eBay and it came with no head. Yes, I have bought lots of <laughs> fake products off of there who claim they were authentic, but they were not. Next time you're online shopping, keep this in mind. This is with Michaela Bevelander and Claire Schiffer with your WKHS News. In the newest edition of Our Ravine is Out, they talk to restaurants about how they're struggling to find employees and the differences between the polio vaccine and the COVID vaccine rollout. On our website, we discuss a ton of different stories. This week, we cover the rise of crumble cookies. We also talk to teachers about quarter two will look without exams this year. You can find this all on our website at WKHSmedia.com or follow us on Twitter and Instagram at WKHSmedia. The newest episode of Unpack is out. Owen, Tess, and Graham give us a sneak peek of how this episode will look. <laughs> this has been your WKHS News. This Saturday, cross country competes in states, so make sure to wish them luck. Riley Tate qualified individually, and the boys cross country team qualified for the first time since 2005. Have a fun and safe weekend, Kilborn. And always remember, go Wolves! WKHS News. You. There are many pros and cons. <laughs> Sorry. Restaurants about. Ugh. Different stories. <laughs> <laughs>